right, quick update on my status as a power lifter. Um, you're going to hear some background noise. My son's playing his iPad games, <clears throat> so don't mind that. And my shirt's wrinkly, so don't hate. Um, so I just got back from a three-week-long vacation. Um, during that time, I basically didn't touch a weight, period, any point for about two and a half weeks. Uh, while I was gone, I did dead deadlift lightly once, no problems, no issues, perfectly fine. I went to 155 pounds. Um, I did squat once. Um, I worked up to 225 for one rep. I did some sets with 135 again, no problems, no issues, no problems whatsoever. Um, at that point, when I had squatted and deadlifted once very lightly just to kind of test the water to see where I was at, I had basically taken nine weeks off from squatting and deadlifting, um, and everything was going good, didn't have any pain, um, you know, that area wasn't sore, when I bent over to pick stuff up, I didn't feel the pull or twinge that I had. Um, when I was diagnosed with early signs of an avulsion fracture. Um, so, this week on Monday I squatted. Um, I, I switched my squat and deadlift days. Um, Monday, Thursday, I flip-flopped them. And uh, I worked up on squat 185 for four sets of five, and then I put 225 on the bar, did my last set of five with 225. Everything was good, no problems. Day or two after, I, I was a little sore in that area, but it was 99% muscular soreness. Um, and even when I bent over, you know, one way or the other and, and that hamstring pulled, I didn't feel that twinge. I didn't feel any any odd uh, minor pain that I felt before when I had the weakened and bruised bone where the hamstring attached. So I thought, all right, everything's good. Yesterday I went into deadlift, uh, worked up to 225, and I could feel that little twinge slash slight pain at the top of the movement right when I locked the hips out. So a um, little frustrating. Um, I basically, you know, rested for 12 weeks. And, you know, the doctor said, rest for four to six, you'll be fine. Um, and at the end of, I want to say it was five or six weeks, I decided, you know what? Why don't I just go ahead, since I'm going on vacation for three weeks, and wait some more time and, and really, really be smart about this and let myself heal. So right now I'm really not sure what to think. I don't know if, you know, I, I truly am healed. The bone, that area where the hamstring attaches, I don't know if that truly is healed. And what I'm experiencing is uh, scar tissue um, that's causing some pain. Um, I, I like to think that's the issue, but I really don't know. Um, I talked to a chiropractor that works at my gym with the fighters and people there that, that train, and he says, you know, I'd be shocked if you didn't have some scar tissue, some adhesions in that area because you are a posterior chain dominant athlete being a power lifter. Um, but, you know, I'm going to go back to the doctor that originally diagnosed me and read my MRI from the beginning. The problem is I don't get to see him until August the 2nd and that's next Friday. So that's a little bit frustrating uh, because basically now I'm going to take a whole nother week. I'm going to lose a whole nother week of not squatting or deadlifting. Um, and the way I see it, he's probably going to say, well, you know what? The best thing to do is to get another MRI of the area so we can actually see it and know with certainty where you are. The problem with that is that's going to take another two, possibly three weeks because he's going to have to order it. Insurance is going to have to approve it, which I'm worried about because they hassled me the first time on it. And then it's going to have to get scheduled. And then you're talking another two or three days turnaround for them to send those results to the doctor. Then I'm going to have to schedule another appointment to go in and see this doctor. So it's really frustrating right now because I don't know... I don't know what to do. Um, well, I do know what to do. The problem is it's it's sit around and wait, basically. I, I can't 
you know, that that's basically what I'm doing. I'm sitting around and waiting uh, so that I don't hurt myself. Uh, that's pretty crappy because, you know, I've got things I want to do in regards to powerlifting, and I cannot do them right now because I don't know what my problem is. Even though I did not only what the doctor told me to do, but I went above and beyond that as far as being patient and resting and rehabbing and prehabbing and working on mobility and doing all those things that I need to do. So, uh, yeah, pretty frustrating. Some good news is this Sunday at my gym, there's going to be a bros versus pros bench press challenge, and there's $1,500 cash up for grabs. And there's two weight classes. There's a 220 and under and a 221 and up. Well, obviously, I'm going to 220 and under. The weight's going to be 225. Um, there's no doubt in my mind I can knock out 30 reps with 225. But I'm pretty sure I could do more than that because the last time I did it, I did 225 for 28 reps, and I had done a fair amount of work with um, much heavier weight in the sets prior. This was my last come down set burnout. Yeah, hold on, buddy. Hold on. Give me just a second, okay? Go play another game. So, uh, yeah, that's that's what's going on. So, <laughs> but potentially that could be the last time I compete for quite some time, depending on the issue that I have. Uh, so yeah, that's what's coming up. I'm definitely going to get a video of that. I'm definitely going to video anything and everything that I think is worth videoing right now and getting that up because, you know, I just, you know, I'm super motivated to get in the gym and start working again, even though I really can't do stuff that actually involves a lot of work. Yeah, I can kill myself with accessory stuff, but that's just not the same. It's not the same as squatting and deadlifting. I'm still going to bench. I'm going to bench feet down. I don't care. I'm, I'm you know... I'm I'm benching to get stronger. I'm not benching to maintain anymore. I, I'm I'm you know which is basically what I did and actually got a little bit weaker when I was benching feet up all the time. So obviously that did not work. That's something maybe you throw in every now and again, but not something that you can do for weeks on end and actually benefit. At least for me, it didn't work. So you know I'm I'm going back to benching to get stronger. I'm going back to just just work my butt off and do everything that I can minus squatting and deadlifting. So that's it.